what's up everybody and welcome to another video uh i'm here to show off the finished computer it took us a long time to build it but we we did it um little by little the viewers mods friends have sent me a lot of the equipment uh i actually wasn't even gonna you know build this computer i i i, I had no plans on buying a computer or a desk a stand-up desk that you can put your computer inside but one of my one of my friends he he went ahead and sent it to me and then a lot of he 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 actually bought a lot of the components like off my Amazon wish list and uh, I was able to get these are these are this is what's inside the computer these are all the parts um, I did put in my old 3080 Ti uh, graphics card um, but Pandas is actually sending me his I think it's a 7900 XTX. So I actually, this is going to be a full AMD build. So I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, it's running really good. I, I, I tested it and I'm able to stream and game at the same time. It's fantastic. Now, I still don't have the final form. The final form happens when I put the new graphics card in there. But, you know, graphics cards are completely outrageously overpriced right now. So um, it's, difficult. It's, it's, it's difficult to invest in one right now. Anyway, um, so big shout out to the supporters, uh, the, the, the viewers, the mods. Friends, thank you for you know sending me all this equipment. It's it's truly incredible. Even the camera, this camera right here. I, I wasn't gonna get a camera like that. I was just gonna use a regular camera. <laughs> they got me that camera. The lighting here. Let me show you the Elgato lighting. Uh, everything. This is incredible. So let me show you what the the desk can do. Uh, the desk is called the Leon Lee. Uh, it's got a see-through glass right here where you can see the components inside and then you get the RBG lighting. That's Leon Lee. There's a bunch of components for it that all light up so you can see everything. It's got a digital display right here that you can add like the temperature, the stats. And um, there's room for two computers. I only have one. So in the second one, I just have like toys and, and, and the LED display. So there's a camera inside the computer. I actually put one in there and it's this one right here. It's Goku holding things down. I think it looks amazing. So that's a box holding up that, uh, you can see that little screen that shows like the temperature, the CPU temperature and the speeds and all that stuff. And then the fans in the back, they actually have, you know, di little digital displays too. Um, eventually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get more toys and more l lighting effects. I actually got this one. This is what the Goku was supposed to be holding. Look, it looks like this. And I put it inside, look, but it didn't fit unless I cut his legs off and then he'll fit with this thing in there. I mean, I think it will freaking look cool. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Maybe I could cut him in half and maybe stick him in the desk somehow. All right. Or stick him through the bottom. Anyway, so the desk is in incredible. I, I can't believe it. And look, look at this. I press one button. It's like a car. Like a car seat. It go goes up by itself. I stand up because I like gaming sitting down and standing up and I usually stand up for maybe you know 30 minutes to an hour standing up and then when my legs hurt I sit back down and I'm like ah oh, it's great and I game like that and I, I switch it back and forth so it's, it's really cool so uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you know what I'm gonna be doing the future of this channel which is the ma my main channel I haven't really posted long form content. I'm, I'm mainly posting a lot of shorts, a lot of shorts. I mean, you guys might see, I might be posting one, two, one, two, maybe three a day. Cause those are kind of easy to do. Um, I'm actually uploading a lot of content to Facebook. I'm doing um, like the reels, the, the stories. Well, not so many, the story, not so much the stories, but I'm gonna start doing it. Instagram, Facebook, that's where I'm mostly putting content right now. And I'm also just uploading the shorts uh, here on YouTube. I am going to start doing more long form content, like 10 minute videos like this. Um, I'm going to try to do those a little bit more consistently. Um, I, I, but I have to talk a little bit about one of the problems that, that YouTube has right now. It's DMCA. It's completely outrageous. And that's one of the reasons why I don't have any music playing in the background right now. Um, I, I've been doing experiments um, streaming on YouTube and, you know, I'll stream for like seven, eight, maybe 10 hours. And if, if, if I bring up a window like this, see a window like this, and this little window is the to knock, to knock video that's muted, my entire broadcast will get, will get DMCA'd, the entire thing. 
I'll lose 100% of the revenue of the entire 10 hours because Tunak Tunak was playing muted in a little window and, and it was like an ad or I don't know, it was just there. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll see the, the DMCA claim on the video. I'm like, what, what is this? And then you can click on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's completely out of control. Um, I can't imagine how React streamers are making content. You know, they're, they're probably just fighting DMCAs all the time. So it, it's especially happening with music. And uh, so you're probably going to see me post a lot more content in the future, but with AI music. Um, right now, AI music like can't be DMCA'd. I can use like Monster Cat music, um, but when I when I do the the little shorts and stuff like that, I I mainly use like AI music, or if not, it just gets DMCA'd like instantaneously. <laughs> um, there was a it's happening right now in games too. There was a recent game that came out that I was really excited about, Chrono Odyssey. So I live streamed Chrono Odyssey, and it was just basically the the in game. I, I don't think I had the did I have the music on? It was mainly I got a whole bunch of DMCA claims from Chrono Odyssey. Like, what is this? So, so I, I I clicked on the live stream, and then you can see each one. I, I actually took a picture of it. All right, so here it is. <laughs> I know you can't see it. Oh my God, it's it's hard to see. But anyway. This is uh, all the DMCA claims that I got on the Chrono Odyssey live stream. I mean, it, and then, so these were all the DMCA claims that I got on Chrono Odyssey live stream. And then when I clicked on each individual one, it was actually not even the music. It was the ambience music. Like, you know how, I don't know, like, let's say you're in Iron Forge or in Stormwind in World of Warcraft and, the, and just the ambience. It sounds like you're in a hollow area and it's got like people going, king, 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 or you hear birds chirping or whatever. Um, every single zone in Chrono Odyssey is DMCA. Every single one. Even the character creation menu, the music that plays, it, it's kind of like kind of like in music, DMCA. I was like, holy mo I had to immediately stop playing that game. Unless I completely mute the music and I completely mute the ambient sounds. That was that's the only way. And then add my own music or AI music. That's the only way to do it. So yeah, the whole point was DMCA is completely out of control. Specifically on YouTube, I, I have to be extremely careful. Um, you might see some, a lot of my videos uh, that they get spliced. Like you might be watching the video and there's a missing section, and that's because it's probably DMCA. So I probably went in there and spliced it out, you know, cut that section out. Because if not, they just take all the revenue. They just take it all. It did. I find that so strange. Like you can stream for 10 hours and for a 10 second thing that you showed on the stream or you might be reacting to they literally take all the revenue because i've been looking at the analytics and it's like all the revenue goes to them all of it 100 percent. you lose it all <gasps> um but i've been taking precautions and i figured out a way how to get around the mca on youtube so this is this is maybe uh, some advice for those of you guys who are content creators and you want to avoid dmca on youtube i figured out a way so especially when you're doing live stream broadcast. Now there's a way to separate audio. Um, there's videos on YouTube guides on how to separate audio uh, from the audio track uh, going to Twitch. But it's, it's difficult to do it to YouTube. Um, OBS has an option where you can mute the audio uh, sent to Twitch. So you, it's, a, like it's a separate audio channel. And then uh, you just mute the music on that channel and then you broadcast that channel out to YouTube out to YouTube. So what I did was I have a GoXLR right here. I have the GoXLR and I have a cable coming out of the GoXLR Go output and it goes right over here into this little device. This little device right here, let me zoom in. Hold on, hold on. This little device right here, this is called a Magwell Director. I use this to stream to YouTube. It's a little device and it's like a little encoding device. So I use this to stream to YouTube um, Facebook, Kick, uh, Twitter, anything, anything other than. By the way, that's the Osbot 360. It's the Osbot camera, uh, 360 camera. I think it's Osbot 360. Anyway, um, so I use that device to stream to YouTube, Kick, Twitter, Facebook, uh, whichever sites that, that that's not Twitch. It's Twitch, I stream with OBS on my computer. 
and then I send the audio out through there. I send all the audio except the music channel. So I, I put, for example, Spotify or um, all my web browsers, all like uh, Google uh, Chrome, um, any web browser that you use, I set that to my music channel. And then the music channel does not go out to, to YouTube. So if I'm reacting to a video or I'm playing a video, um, a lot of my YouTube audience in the chat, they're complaining, we don't hear any audio. And I'm like, dude, I'm doing it intentionally, man, because if not, I get, I'll get instantly DMCA'd, man. Um, even videos, like I've been reluctant now to actually react to videos or even show videos on YouTube. So I think, um, I think I got it down because I've been like my last stream, I didn't get a DMCA, which was awesome. I did a seven hour stream and I did not get DMCA. So this, this, this system works. So this is called uh, Magewell Director. Um, there's other devices. There's an Ozbot. Um, I th I, there, it, OBS Bot also makes one, which is similar to this. And basically, it's just like a stream, little encoder, and it just streams on its own, right? So you can stream to other platforms. So, um, but I'm streaming to Restream. I just go from here to Restream, and then uh, it just separates the audio for me. Let me go to the settings so you can see it. Might as, I might as well just show you. So in the GoXLR setting, what you do is you go to the routing table and then you go to the, see where it says music right here. Just make sure it only goes to your headphones. That's it. And make sure it's, you, none of these are, are clicked. You get rid of all these. Okay. And then in the uh, OBS setting, like on the advanced properties in OBS, make sure that your music, this one, uh, is only on track one. You see all these tracks? So it's one and two, one and two, one and two, or all of them. One, two, three, four. You don't even need all these. Um, wait, three, four, five, six, whatever. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And the only one that's on number one is the music track. That's it. And then two is, there's nothing there. Okay? And then if you go to the OBS settings... If you go to the output mode in OBS settings, you're going to see there's a streaming setting. There's an audio track, and then there's a Twitch VOD track. And the Twitch VOD track should be set to two. That way, the VOD that gets saved on Twitch, it doesn't save the music. You, it, you can only hear the music like while you're live streaming on Twitch, but it doesn't save the music to the, to the VOD. Or, and, and yeah. But in order to get it to not save on YouTube, for some reason, you can't do this on YouTube, or at least I don't know how to do to, to separate the audio on YouTube or any other, other platform. But I feel like I said, I figured out a way how to do it with the GoXLR, not the GoXLR, with the uh, Magewell Director Mini, which is this device right here. Cool device. I actually liked it. I was going to use it for IRL streaming. I ended up using it for this and it's perfect for getting rid of uh, music going to the other platforms. So there it is. If anyone knows any other way of, of doing it without uh, a separate device or, or a second PC, uh, please let me know. I'm very curious about it. Um, I don't think Restream can, can separate audio either. I don't know. I have to do a little bit of research. If anybody knows, please let me know in the chat. Uh, yeah, so we can update, so we can make an update video. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll, I'll be doing a lot more content soon in the future. I'm going to, I'm going to do some experiments doing gaming content with commentary. And, and then I'm going to do some experiments where I'm just talking about gaming because I want to, I want to check the analytics and see how they do. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.